Hare Krishna. So we are continuing our discussion from verse number 32 to 35. So we saw 32 and 33 in the last video. And now we'll see verse number 34 and 35. So what has Arjuna told till now? So Arjuna is saying, I don't want Rajya. Oh Govinda, I hope you remember the meaning of Govinda very clearly. So he's saying, Oh Govinda, I don't want Rajya. I don't want Bhoga. And what is the use of this life, Jiva? Jivite Nava. Kingdom, enjoyment and life itself. Because he's saying, what is the use of all this? Because all these are needed for those people. But those people, that is the family members from for whom we need all these things, all those are standing in front of us, O Krishna. Why are they standing? In verse number 33, we said, ta, ta ime vastita yudde pranam styaktva dhananicha. All of them are standing in front of me with the mood of fighting, yudde, and they are ready to give up their life and even wealth. They are not caring for that. Who are, who all are there on the battlefield? Who are the ones? Now he's going to name few more personalities. Verse number 34 and 35. Matulaha Swashura Pautraha Shalaha Sambandinastatha Etana Hantumichami Natopi Madhusudana Api Trailokya Rajasya Hetoho Kim no Mahikrate Nihatya Dharta Rastranaha Kapitrihi Sya Janardhana. So he's saying, who all, are, who all are standing in front of him? So we continue from verse number 33 and then we go to 35. So he's saying, Acharyaha, teachers, Pitara, Pitaraha, the contemporaries of my father, Putra, the ones who are equivalent to my sons, Pitamaha, my grandfathers, Matulaha, my maternal uncles. Shvasuraha, that is fathers in law, Pautraha, grandsons, Shalaha, brothers in law, Sambandinas, relatives, all of them are relatives. He's saying that Etana Hantu Michami, O Krishna, I don't desire to kill any one of them. He's, and then he adds a point Gnatopi, O Madhusudana, I'm not interested to kill any one of them, even if they are killing me, it's okay. Natopi. And then he's saying, Api trailokya rajasya hetoho kim no mahikrite. Even if I get all the three worlds to rule by killing them, I'm not ready to do that. Oh, Krishna, oh, Madhusudana. What to talk about just getting this earthly planet? So basically, he's saying, I don't want to fight. And that he makes it very clear in the next line. He says, Nihatya dharta rastranaha. I, I, I really don't desire to kill. No, kill all of them. Who? Dhartarashtranaha. The sons of Dhartarashtra. Ka pritihi syad janardhana. Oh janardhana. What pleasure we will get by killing all of them. Just imagine what will be Krishna's expression when you know, Arjuna will be saying all this. After arranging the entire battle, this person is saying that I don't want to kill all of them. And he's naming all of them. As if he was not knowing before the battle who is going to be there in front. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to kill O Krishna. This is what he's saying. Now, there are some very nice points that we can discuss here. Let's refer to Prabhupada's purports and discuss the same. See, one important point is why Arjuna is saying this. Prabhupada is writing here. Everyone wants to show his opulence to friends and relatives, but Arjuna fears that all his relatives and friends will be killed on the battlefield and he will be unable to share his opulence after a victory. See, even Arjuna wants to do show off. So he's thinking, whom will I do show off to? <laughs> I think we all are in parampara, so proper you know, showing off business. And then, see, he uses one very nice word, Janardhana. So Janardhana basically means Jana and Ardhana. So let's divide that. So Jana means people, Ardhana means uh, the ones who kill. So Janardhana is the killer of people. So Arjuna is telling Krishna, see, you are Janardhana. You are the one who have descended from Goloka Brandavan. For what? In future verses, we'll see in the, the future chapters. Krishna gives the reason why he has appeared. Paritranaya sadhunam vinashaya chadushrutam 
So Krishna is saying to protect my devotees and to annihilate the miscreants. So Arjuna, maybe he knew the, the verse that is going to come and he is saying that you are Janardana, you are actually killer of all miscreants. Oh Krishna, why are you asking me to kill? Why don't you go ahead and do the needful? <laughs> so he is using this word Janardana. Look, look at uh, the rasa that is there you know, in this uh, verses. If we, if we analyze this very nicely and Prabhupada is writing here. You now look at this point. Arjuna did not want to kill his relatives and if there were any need to kill them, he desired that Krishna kill them personally. <laughs> so just by reading Prabhupada's purpose scrutinizingly, you know, we will be able to relish these verses very nicely. And a very important point which is coming up here. The devotee of the Lord does not retaliate against the wrongdoer. So Arjuna, he is ready to tolerate everything that the Kauravas did, but he is not ready to fight. And the next point is, but the Lord does not tolerate any mischief done to the devotee by the miscreants. Lord will not tolerate. The devotee is ready to tolerate, but the Lord will not tolerate any injustice done to his devotees. Lord can excuse a person on his own account. If someone offends the Lord, Lord is ready to excuse that person, forgive that person. But he excuses no one who has done harm to his devotees. So this is a very important point. So we have to make sure we respect the devotees of Krishna and not offend them. Even if devotees forgive, forgive us, Krishna will not forgive us. And the last line. Therefore, the Lord was determined to kill the miscreants, although Arjuna wanted to excuse them. See, Arjuna is ready to excuse, but Krishna is like, no, you have to kill. So, in this way, we see that uh, Arjuna is saying that, you know, why, you know, what is the use of all this Rajya and Sukha and all these things? Oh, Janardhana, this is what he is saying. So, Arjuna is seeing, you know, he is foreseeing something. He's, so, if we know in Mahabharat, when the Pandavas won over this entire battle. So they ruled the entire kingdom only for 37 years. Something like that. That's, that's the number that was given. So now the question is, Arjuna was thinking, only for this short time? No, we have to do all this. If we kill all these relatives, what is going to happen? Sin will overcome us. And for this short span of enjoyment, we have to suffer for millions and millions of years in hellish planets. Oh Krishna, I don't want to fight. This is the deeper you know, understanding. And this reason of sin will overcome us will continue in the next few verses. So two reasons Arjuna has given till now. From verse 28 to 30, he said that they are my relatives, I don't want to kill. That is compassion. Second reason, from 31 to 35 verses, he said that if I kill them, I don't know, how will I be able to enjoy? What is the use of this enjoyment? So he's thinking about his own enjoyment. Now, from 36 onwards, we'll see the next two reasons what Arjuna will give for not fighting. Hare Krishna.